Good evening, everyone. I hope you all are doing well and keeping safe. I am Dhwani from Geeks for Geeks, and I will be your host for today. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our guest for today, Ms. Khadija Tehseen, who is an SDE one at Amazon. Hi, Khadija. Ah, uh, hi, Dhwani. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. So let's start this session on a positive note, where you introduce yourself and give us a small message for our viewers. Ah, uh, sure. So, uh, hello everyone. I am Khadija Tehseen. Uh, I am currently working at the uh, uh, at Amazon as SG one. Uh, I have graduated from Vrindavan College, College of Engineering uh, in two thousand twenty one batch. Uh, I have done CS Engineering. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all for my introduction. Thank you so much. So, let's start from the very basic question of you know, like how you landed this role. How was the process? You know, like. How did you prepare? Just a huge question. Just uh, could you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, it started from when I was in the last year. So like I was also from a dietary college. I didn't. I was not even thinking about any company or any job, anything. So I was just uh, like doing my uh, projects, developments. I was mainly into developments, and I was exploring on the uh, different stacks and all. So. Uh, one day i watched one youtube video it was like how i landed at google so after then like i started thinking he was also from tiyathi college i don't remember his name so i also uh, started thinking like uh, can i also get into top tech companies like google or uh, amazon thanks so like then also i was like no i may be not i am not able to do that and all so it was okay okay then also then i was like okay then i started thinking like what exactly is needed to do that so we know that uh, main thing is dsa that is needed to land any top uh, tech companies so it was uh, in the last year that i started dsa so uh, i started the i took uh, like i wanted to have a structured way so i start i took the uh, gfg self paced course that i took and yeah that course was really good it gave me like full everything it was really cool and yeah after that i like i started in the march 2000 Uh, 21 yeah and by the uh, in the september 21 i got the interview link matlab assessment link interview and everything and in the october 2021 i had the job offer so yeah that's the brief of it that's quite amazing yeah i mean you just took about i guess 7 to 8 months to get the whole thing yeah yeah exactly it was quick fast that's really amazing Yeah. So, uh, how has your experience been like coming from a tier three college, as you told us? How has the experience been like? I'm sure you must have sat for your college placements also, and you know, like, how was it different from getting this job like offer? Like, what's the experience been like? Okay, so uh, I was just when I started uh, DSA, I was like, uh, let's go, let's just do it. I was not thinking about like, okay, I'll. I was thinking like, okay, I will give at least one year totally in DSA, then I'll think about any job and anything. So I was simply uh, doing the geeks for geeks and lead code only and problems and all. So I, I mean, uh, sometimes like uh, I, it was not always good. I was getting demotivated also on the way. So I was when I get demotivated, I used to, I used to start applying for the jobs. So I had applied for few links. So that's only. So I like a lot time. I was demotivated also on the way. Uh, so it came out as a. Uh, I can understand. Yeah. I mean, every engineering student goes through a phase where they start to doubt themselves. Yeah. Like, am I in the right field or not? Yeah, exactly. I so, personally am an engineering student, so I know what you're saying. Yeah. So I was like, okay, okay. Then one day I suddenly got a mail that I was like preparing only. Uh, I had finished the course and I was doing lead code. And one day I got the link uh, from Amazon that uh, I have uh, for the online assessment. I was like, okay, fine. I'll give the online assessment, but uh, it's okay. I am I am not yet prepared for the interview. So let's try this assessment. So I gave the assessment, and the code uh, coding courses was really good. The question I had really prepared nicely. So it went really. nice that uh 
both question i did uh, and uh, like out of uh, all the test cases only one test case failed and it passed all the test cases i was really happy so excited but then i was thinking okay this was online assessment but face to face interview will be quite hard and they might ask the question i will not be able to solve so just uh, let it be uh, then afterwards like my friend also helped me uh, he also helped me through like uh, then i told him also like uh, i have got uh, like i cleared the interview he was also shocked so we started preparing we did all the standard problems and mock interviews we did and then uh, one day i had the interview so uh in one day i had three interviews first interview was quite uh, didn't get uh, didn't go well because i was quite nervous but i tried my best but my nervousness and all so uh, it was okay like i was able to do both the problems but uh, it was not quite good because i was so nervous and all so and the second interview was really so good like the question it was uh, the question was i was really so prepared for that question it really went well and then and that day only i had third interview also so that also went good and then uh, after two or three days i had the another interview so basically in all the interview i was asked mainly the coding questions only and the uh, design not design it was related to oops concept questions so yeah right so what role did your resume play in this whole process i mean you said you were preparing when you got the email right so what yeah. role did your resume play in this okay so about the resume uh on my resume i used the simple tap template uh, from the novo resume i guess yeah so it was the uh, basic no resume uh, but uh, my resume had the some few projects uh, i had done some projects on android react react native so i had uh, put those projects so uh, that was kind of good like uh, when uh, like everyone uh, the uh, normal uh, concepts and all will be remain same for all the students but uh, project is what that differentiate your resume that's what i feel so you always uh, one should keep the resume uh, project in the resume that's like kind of that gives a you know kind of uh, different feeling ki ha this guy has done something else like something unique so the interviewer will also will look into like oh what is this let's see what project this guy has done and all like that so yeah so uh, just uh, could you tell me what kind of questions were you asked in the tech round okay so like the exact coding problem or the procedure so just basic the outline of questions like which okay. topic of questions were asked okay so in the first interview i was uh, first i was asked about the introduction after introduction i was asked about few of my projects uh, after that i was asked about the question uh, it was a uh, Uh, k frequency or uh, number of uh, we have a question with uh, number of topmost k frequency something like this question i don't remember the exact name so yeah that was the question and another in the second interview i was asked the question it was a uh, number of islands question was there and um, yeah and in the third one i was asked one designing question to design uh, oops question that was to design a vending machine in the fourth interview last interview i was asked uh, rain trapping water question and there was another question second question that was kind of extension i felt uh, the rotten oranges we have it was kind of extension of that it was based on the covid so that question was quite good i haven't seen that question anywhere so yeah otherwise all questions was kind of from the standard problems we see uh it was from them only right so since you said you know like there was a phase when you started doubting yourself what was the thing that motivated you you know like pushed you out of that zone so basically if you say like uh the thing was like i was preparing and i was applying for companies okay uh, for any companies and my resume was not getting shortlisted shortlisted for any of the company so that was the reason i was feeling motivated like uh, any company is not shortlisting me so like will i be able to do and also like i used to feel really demotivated but all you have to do is keep on try and uh, that's what <laughs> like one day obviously if you try hard one day you are going to achieve it nothing is impossible all you have to like some days are bad some days are good so you have to go through bad days to reach those good days that's what like it's okay to feel demotivated we all have those phase in life right so uh while you were you know like 
uh, while you were sitting through all the college placement rounds. Uh, could you tell us how were those campus rounds for you? And you know, like how many did you apply for? And what was the process like for you? Okay, so campus placement. Ah, uh, I didn't uh, ap uh, apply for much. I just applied for one. Ah, uh, that was. Uh, from the TCS, yeah, I only had one. I actually didn't apply for any companies. I was like, just let me prepare for one year completely. Then only I will apply from off campus or anything. But uh, during my fourth year, I was not basically focusing on the placement. I was totally focusing on let's complete this TSA, let's get a good and uh, um, grasp on it. This then we will apply for good companies. So that was my uh, idea also. Yeah, I didn't apply for much uh, from the campus placement. Right. So, how tough is it for a tier three college student to you know actually crack pro like top product companies? Okay. So, from based on my own experience, I would say that this is not very. This is of medium level. It's not very hard because so many companies are nowadays giving opportunities from the normal tier three college students also to apply. That's a best thing. So. Personally, about the Amazon, I feel really good about this that the, they give fair and square to every uh, college students. Not like uh, any good company only, good college students only can appear. Like that is the best thing I feel about the Amazon. And yeah. Oh, uh, so uh, what was the question? Sorry, I missed out it. No, I was just asking. Like, do you huh? think that it's tough for tier three colleges? Yeah, to yeah. Got it. Huh? But I think that answers the question. Yeah. So, while preparing for the interviews, which sources did you refer to? Okay, so for the preparing, I I oh, fully focused on Geeks for Geeks. Uh, Geeks for I took the Geeks for Geeks course that was self paced DSA course. Then I was doing the question on lead co uh, lead code and Geeks for Geeks. So basically, these two platform that I. Uh, Oh, I was doing and yeah, I uh, choose. I was uh, while I was doing these things, I used to book also. That was uh, CTCI, we have cracked in coding interview, and another one was API uh, elements of programming interface. These two books is really so good for anyone preparing for uh, good companies. So, yeah, these uh, these two books and these two platform I uh, completely referred. Right. So, when I'm talking to a lot of students you know like i have asked i have had interviews with a lot of people who have talked about dsa and in like in those sessions people often ask how important is dsa i mean you are a fresh graduate and you have just you know like you are a fresh person in the stream so like what is you know like how important is actually dsa and which which topics of dsa are actually important because you know like when we start dsa it's all about linked list uh, how to insert in a linked list how to delete in a linked list i mean these are the kind of things that we see but what actually is the most important thing about dsa okay so based on my experience i have realized that dsa if you want to go into a good tech companies like good companies uh, fang and all then dsa is really important even for uh, someone who has experience for them also dsa question will be asked so it's really very important if you want to get into because first step is to crack the interview and for the cracking the interview they will ask those questions and about the uh, it is based on the level they are uh, questions are being asked so like if you are a fresh graduate then uh, they might they will ask you about like uh, simple we have deep be uh, trees linked list uh, these problems medium to hard level it can go so and uh, if you had a like if you have a experience then they will ask you designing questions also along with the dsa problems and the uh, level also will be a little high so uh, what i feel is dsa is really important very important if you want to get into a, a tech companies good tech companies it's really important Right. So I guess that's it for the questions that I have. Could you know, like you give a footnote for the speakers, for the fresh graduates, you know, like who are watching this video and, you know, like something inspirational for them? Yeah, sure. Uh, one thing just one thing is that I want to tell everyone uh, like this is what I have figured out from my own experiences like we have four years in the college right uh, so what like I have been through these years and I have personally felt it like a kind of schema what you plan so what I came across in the first year uh, you start uh, CPs and all like just start CPs and first year do CP then in the CP what we uh, what happened like we we need a lot of time to understand CP and get better into it so like if you start from the first year now you will 
it will be hard but first year you have a lot of time so you will slowly slowly start and you have four years like let's start you you started from first year then when you reach the final year you'll be master like grandmaster obviously so it's better to start cp from the first year and like keep it once in the first year you will have to give more time then it will be easy like you will have uh, like you can do it other things also along with it so from the second year you start development like any projects any development anything you like react native or uh, java anything any projects do and in the third year uh, third year I start dsa and all like if you are from the if you have done cp i know cp and dsa are kind of oh, a similar thing but it has a lot of different like, they are different, really different. So in the third year, just uh, do CP, sorry, DSA, and do the problems to start preparing for the interviews. And in the third year or fourth year, just get an internship at good companies. If you have all these things like six, you have CP, you have uh, projects development, you have DSA, then obviously there's a lot of chance you will land into internship. So in the fourth year, do internship and in the final year, get a good job. This is what I have came across. This is a very good plan, I feel. So yeah, that's I want to tell everyone. That's a really you know, like easier said than done kind of path, but I'm sure a lot of people feel very motivated after listening to you because honestly I am feeling a lot motivated I mean I'm in my third year as well and you know like sometimes it's feel it feels like you don't know anything you know like there comes yeah, a yeah. that but once you start getting stuff once you start solving questions you automatically yeah. get the hang of it yeah so I guess that's it for this session all the questions that i had thank you so much khadija for all those uh, answers all those motivational talks and for answering all of my questions i'm sure everyone learned a lot from you today so thank you everyone for watching this and thank you so much khadija for joining in have a great day thank you Same to you thank you